Hey, welcome back. We got Matt Cimarano joining us today, service center manager with Aero Exterminators. Good Thursday afternoon, Matt. Yeah, happy that Thursday afternoon. Yeah, all right, so this time of year, well, let's talk about those little pesky critters that we want to keep outside our house <laughs> because pests have long been a threat to the quality of of, of, of good life with, with humans, and we want to keep those little guys out of out, out of our our uh, living space. That's right. When it's cold, they want to come inside just as much as we want to be in there, and it's a chilly day today, so it's a great opportunity for rats and cockroaches and squirrels and all those guys to be coming into the house. Goodness. Okay, first of all, I want to pick your brain about the uh, Asian beetle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we've had a couple of warm days. Of course, it's cold outside right now. But uh, what can we do? And why are they here? When are they going to leave us alone? Those Asian beetles that, 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 that look like... Uh um, ladybugs. Ladybugs, yeah. yeah. Oh, they can be a real hassle, and this is the time of the year where people are seeing them inside of the house. You know, you'll have um, like a Monday or Tuesday with 70 degrees. These guys are overwintering in our attics and crawl spaces, so when it warms up, they're looking for light and warmth. And that's why we typically see them in windows and doors, places like that where the sunlight's coming through. Um, Asian beetles can be tough to control from a pesticide standpoint, but what we recommend is general exclusion techniques. So it could be screening off gable vents and ridge vents on the roof line, foundation vents on the crawl space, sealing cracks with caulk and things like that to physically exclude them from being able to gain access into the home. So Matt, what you do on a daily basis with Aero Exterminators, you you actually inspect homes. Yes. And well, what are you seeing in, in some of our area homes? This time of the year, we're getting a lot of rodent calls. We're seeing a lot of folks getting rats in their crawl spaces. They're getting up into the attics. And of course, that's a nuisance. Nobody wants to live with something pitter pattering in the roof line, scratching yeah. and scurrying behind the walls and things like that. And not only is it a hassle having them in the house, but they can cause a lot of damage. They'll chew on electrical lines, mm. plumbing lines. They'll tear the insulation apart and nest in it. They'll leave dropping in the crawl space, which is unsanitary for us. So it can be a real threat to our to our livelihood. Yeah. What are we looking for? Before we call you guys, uh, more likely, is, is there somebody that, that's seen, you know, um, maybe a wire that's been chewed on or something like that, and they give you a call? Or I had a lady that I went to see yesterday where she had some wires in her engine and her car got chewed up, so she brought it into the mechanic, and they had identified that it was rats chewing on the wires. Oh, well. Um, a lot of times you'll see droppings or you'll get that urine smell. Um, most obvious signs are going to be the scratching, scurrying, things like that. We actually hear them in the walls and under the house. Yeah. Or a lot of times it can be the dogs and cats that will alert us to them. You see the dog constantly over in one corner of the house barking and scratching. Mm. He's probably noticing something alive underneath the house that he's trying to get to. Or snakes. Could be a snake also. Ooh, yeah. All right. How about our, um, or, uh, yeah, how prevalent are, are termites this time of year? We see termites all year long. Termites are subterranean, so even when it gets cold out for us, they're underground, so it doesn't affect them as much. So we'll still see termites this time of the year. And this is a great time of the year to have a termite inspection done because we can get in there, we can make sure that it's not an issue. Swarming season is right around the corner. So come March and April, we're going to start seeing those colonies just explode and start to create new colonies with us. Well, thank you for those wonderful words of encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm thinking of the squirrels this time of year. Yep. Uh, if I were a squirrel <laughs> in, in this weather right now, I'd be wanting to find myself in an attic somewhere. Oh, certainly. Yeah. Are, they, are they getting in attics? They are, and squirrels can be challenging to get under control, but one of the most obvious things that I like to point out when I'm at a house doing an inspection is the trees. The squirrels are getting onto the roof somehow, and most obviously they're going to be climbing the trees up. So if we go out there and we do any sort of exclusion work, one of the recommendations we're going to make is to trim trees and limbs six feet away from the roof line. Yeah. And that's a great preventative thing that you can do before it becomes an issue to get in there, trim them back so that they can't get access to the roof lines. Some great advice. You are a great spokesman for Aero. I know you've been <laughs> no, with them for, for a long time, but uh, good job. Uh, for more information, Aero Exterminators, they're the pros. one 462 7769 That translates to 888-GO-ARO. Aero Exterminators. See you at World of Wills tomorrow. Have a great afternoon. Stay warm. So long. Thank you. Let News Channel 9 and CHI Memorial be your eyes on the skies with the storm camp.